You guys are drunks, but you also read. It's a fun combo. Are you a big reader? When I was locked up, I used to listen to When you were locked up? Already, I love this. Wait, wait, wait. Let's backtrack this for a second. You said when I was locked up. Believe it or not, that caught my attention more than the literature. What were you locked up for? Nick Swarson? He got you locked up? I love Nick Swarson. Just judging by your haircut, I'm going with hate crime. But uh, what did the guy do to catch a beating from you? Yeah, there's a gay character, sure. Yeah. His girlfriend's brother was gay. Oh, so he thought you were mocking him. And he threw the first punch? His girlfriend. I, I'm hoping that you hit the dude. Who did you hit? I hit the dude. That's a class act right there. Thank God. And guess what? It has a happy ending. He started reading. <laughs> Go Celtics! Celtics. You know what's funny? I saw, I saw a thing. There was a thing in the Boston Globe yesterday that showed uh, it was uh, a, like a rise in white hate rhetoric. And one of the banners was a bunch of dudes holding a sign in Boston that said, Keep Boston Irish. <laughs> and I was like, I fucking hope that happens. Just because of how bad the fucking Celtics will be. <laughs> They're like, guys, it says they traded Tatum for something Murphy? I... <laughs> Murphy to Flanagan. Another air ball. <laughs> Some white guy in the rafters is like, the Celtics are 0-58, but they've never looked better to me. I really... <laughs> They're playing the right way. What kind of work are you in? You don't want to know. Now I really want to know. <laughs> what is it? I work with special education kids. Do you really? That's good. Well, there's no jokes here. Better move on. <laughs> you have a girlfriend or no? I do. Do you ever have an argument with her and you'd be like, wow, you're more difficult to communicate with than... Ladies, what are you drinking? Whiskey straight up? I respect a woman who drinks whiskey. That's fucking rare. That's a woman with some hair in her titties right there. Yeah. I think he just woke up. I, I think he came in at the wrong time. Where is it? Oh no, that was just a joke. He's like, whip it out. What are you drinking, man? You don't seem like a Tangare man. I, that seems like a really classy gin. <laughs> you never see that ad. Whip out them titties. Tangare. <laughs> what are you drinking? Uh, That's not going to end well for you. That's a. Uh... That's dinner? <laughs> tell me you have a problem without telling me you have a problem. <laughs> You're from the Cape? <laughs> you know why I like Boston? You guys will boo anything that isn't right here. <laughs> I'm from a few miles that way. <laughs> F*** you! <laughs> Is that your boyfriend right there? Where do you guys meet each other? Facebook dating? What, did he poke you? <laughs> what? what do you do for work? Some guy just yelled out anal. That's, this is... That's... Never change, Boston. Do you guys know these two over here or no? That's your twin? Holy shit, you ever, if this gets serious, you could maybe do the, the switcheroo. 
Right? What do you do, miss? No, you don't. You both? Do? Yeah, that'd be weird if she was like, I'm a doctor. Um, which one of you is a bigger slut? Only fans. He has one. No, you don't. Does, is everyone here just fucking, does anyone have a real job anymore? Do you show your dick on there or is it just like swimsuit shit? Mostly cock. What, what do you do, miss? I work in digital marketing. You have a real job and he's like, I had a really hard day too. Oh, so his cock's not enough? He's also, what, an elementary school teacher? <laughs> He's like, look, I show my dick a lot, but my real passion is the children. And get him a shot, too, Brian. And, and this woman, it's, oh, it's Bodega, all right. If I know you as well as I think I do, you'll try anything. So. <laughs> all right. The best place to buy a prostitute in Mexico is Hong Kong? I don't know who taught this guy geography, but... It's a brothel? Oh, you guys are all pieces of shit. I like that everyone's like, you guys don't know the brothel? Even the women are like, you gotta get to this brothel. Can I ask a woman who's done that a question? Why do you go? Well, you guys are really in there for a different reason. Excuse me, whore, what's your workout routine? What is this? A gift? Oh, look at that, a flower that lasts for three years? Can you buy me a drink? I'm gonna leave after the show, but this is really nice. I like it. You just had a feeling you'd see me? <laughs> Women are so fucking confident. I would never. <laughs> She's a very attractive woman. If I handed this to a woman on stage, she'd be like, Haha, security, get this fucking, get this guy out of here. This is a flower that lasts for three years. You don't want it. <laughs> you just assume that I can't take care of something. <laughs> she nailed it. <laughs> Why this? What made you think to get this? Flowers. You know how much men like flowers, right? <laughs> like a lot of times I'll be on a date and I'll be like, I mean, I'd f her, but she didn't get me flowers or nothing. You know, I, I remember I got my ex flowers once and it was, uh, it was like, I'm sorry flowers. I was in trouble. I didn't do anything that bad, but I got her flowers just to like not fight anymore. And the company never delivered them. So I had to call a company like, dude, you just fuck up the I'm sorry delivery. And on the phone, the guy said, well, sir, surely you could understand that, you know, people make mistakes. I'm like, that's, that's pretty good, honestly. 420, I don't smoke. I know you guys are all high, but I don't. I don't smoke weed. I don't like weed. I like alcohol. I don't. I smoke weed. It's like I had a party in my head and only the worst people showed up. <laughs> Every voice is like, you're weird looking. You're going to die alone. That's why I like alcohol. It's one voice and he's extremely positive. Just one dude who's like, dude, cool jacket. You don't have abs, but you're right there. You could get there. I'm like, whoa, thanks, alcoholic voice in my head. You're the man. But are you drinking Bodega Cat? And some mushrooms. And some mushrooms? Oh, you're on drugs. <laughs> what kind of work are you in, sir? Uh, I'm, I'm nothing. I'm a... Nothing. <laughs> nothing is the best response I've ever heard. I'm on multiple drugs and I do nothing with my day. That's how to do it. Uh, what, uh, what do you study? Music business, so it's gonna be a lot more nothing coming up for you, I think. And, uh, what kind of bands do you want to manage? Jam bands. Oh, you are a burnout. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm surprised you have a place to sleep at night. <laughs> He's been staying at your house? I nailed it. I. 
Spring fucking A. How old are you? 19. Oh no. Oh, you're 21. So you just hang out with a 19 year old? Did you pregame hard for this? No, I'm driving. What a boring spring break. It's spring break. What are you doing? Nothing really. We, uh. Are you driving them everywhere? And yesterday. I'm beginning to notice a pattern. They just turn to you at the end of the night, they're like, how do you feel about driving tomorrow? I mean, that would be kind of cool, right? You're really good at driving. They just start throwing in compliments. They're like, dude, you're like Dale Earnhardt or something. This is crazy. I've never seen anyone drive like this. What kind of work are you in? Uh, tech with the government. Very tech with the government? <laughs> Does everyone here work for the fucking government? in DC. Is that your boyfriend or your husband? Boyfriend. What does he do? He's a the tech? Did you meet at some tech conference or something? <laughs> did you hook up the first night? No, I Why is your friend saying you did fuck him the first night? <laughs> you're a liar. And you're not to be trusted with a government job. Get her. <laughs> you really didn't have sex with him the first night? You made pasta instead? So you either f or you eat carbs? What do you do? So I'm about to go back to school, but it's interesting because I used to work for the If we were on a first date, I'd be eating pasta right now. I'll tell you that much. Oof. Long winded. Sam, thank you so much for joining us. We're all cracking up in studio here. Your class act tour will make a stop at the Carolina Theater. You're known to interact with your audience during your set. Yeah. What can people expect during this new tour this year? New tour, new me. I'm being healthy this run. We're all being healthy. I mean, look what I got here. I got, uh, I got my avocado and stuff. And there you sweet go. And potatoes right there. We're all, we're all trying to be healthy on this run. You know, all of us are... <laughs> Well, uh, what do we have there? Well, Sam, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate some it. Of, some of people think it has a liberal bias. ChatGPT, you heard that? Like, so they asked, and I wrote this down, uh, ChatGPT is the United States, an inherently racist country. And this is what ChatGPT says. While there have been significant strides in the fight against racism in the United States, there are still significant disparities and inequalities based on race that exists today. And then they have a slightly less liberal uh, chat GPT and they ask it the same question, the United States inherently racist, and wrote back, uh, what you say to me, boy? I'll kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> that shit in Nashville is horrible, obviously, uh, but let me try. must have been pretty scary for those cops. <laughs> Can you identify the suspect? Not if I want to keep my job. Are you with these guys right here? You wish? Oh my God. This chick's horny on a Monday. I mean, he's a, he's a good looking dude, right? What, what do you, this guy's covered in tats too, he's kind of shredded. What do you think? She's leaning on him? Dude, what do you think? You all about it? Oh my God. Did two people just meet up in my front row? What do you do, sir? You're a plumber, oh. I think you're gonna lay some pipe tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Do I like big tits? I don't not like them. What a strange interruption. Do you have big boobs? Double D? We're so, so very aggressive too, eh? What what kind of work are you in? You work I mean, Orlando's gonna be Orlando sometimes, you know? 
She's a really slutty Minnie Mouse. <laughs> I dated a woman once. She had breasts the size of her head, but uh, she had A cups. She just had a weird fucked up head. And uh, it was a bummer. You heard of James blur her face, but keep her tits. What do you do for work? And you do too? He owns the bar? This sounds like this could be a, a sticky situation right here. Come out for a drink, I'll promote you to head bartender. Have you guys ever hooked up or no? Yeah? I guess the Me Too shit's over, that's kinda cool, right? <laughs> Didn't really hit the food and beverage service. That's your girlfriend over there to the other side? What, are you guys the fucking Rolling Stones? What the hell? Are you dating the other guy or no? Oh, he's your, this is really incestuous. You guys are some grimy motherfuckers here. I know, well, I'm not acting like I'm not. <laughs> That's such a weird insult. What, are you in kindergarten? Takes one to no one, dude. Hey, well, guess what, dude? I'm rubber and you're glue, so whatever you say bounces off me and, and sticks to her leg, because she's, she's seen some action. <laughs> Would you rather uh -huh. right, wake up one day and your penis is tinier than what it is now? Not, okay. Like tiny. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Almost like when you lose your keys. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Or you wake up and your penis is nice and chunky, but it's black. It's black as shit. It's so black it affects Abs your credit. It would absolutely black, of course. <laughs> but it affects your credit. How <laughs> would it affect my credit? The IRS doesn't check down there, dude. That's not, uh, how, that's not how this game works. They're like, you're being audited. I'm like, all right. They're like, all right, whip it out. I'm like, I don't know. Are you sure? How about you? Would you rather? All right. Would you rather? Uh oh, here we go. Have a tiny white dick. Uh huh. Or. <laughs> or get raped by eight dudes. <laughs> They're both bad, dude. <laughs> and guess what? The dudes who rape you, they have big dicks. <laughs> Which would you? You gotta pick. T tiny white dick. Really? Cause I could buy a house with it. I like that. We don't want any black people in our neighborhood. And then he's like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> They're like, welcome to the family. What do you teach? AP literature. AP literature? <laughs> Are you working on a book? What kind of book? <laughs> what kind of book are we? What's the premise? Tinder Adventures? <laughs> <laughs> Confessions of a whore. Some dude comes inside her on a first date and he's like, sorry. And she's like, it's cool. It's going to be in the book. So it's, we needed a third act. So what grade are the kids you teach? Senior. Senior. Oh, wow. Any Tinder adventures in class? <laughs> Do you say yes? It's legal? Yeah, that's not the right answer, though. I... <laughs> you fuck my mom for a living? Damn, well, you must not make a lot of money then, because... <laughs> Sir, what do you do? Real estate? Ask my mom? That's all you got, huh? He's like, this is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. They're like, oh, I'm not really interested. He's like, oh, is, is your mom interested? <laughs> I mean, you're here, but I think this is it for you. I don't, I think this is as close as it gets. <laughs> These are the types of hecklers that would never just take an L. They're like, I got a few more fucking tricky ones coming your way, dude. Getting kicked out of the press door. I mean, I'm not gonna kick you out. Damn. 
<laughs> oh, shit. Well, he's not going to fuck my mom at that rate. I mean, this is really embarrassing. Are his friends still here? I feel bad if his... Are, they, are you guys still here? You didn't want him to come? He's like the friend of your group that you're like, I guess we got to bring him, but... You don't even like him that much? We took him to Hamilton. He screamed out he's going to f*** Hamilton's mom. It was rough. It was... Thank you.